I don't have a name. I used to have one, and a lot of people would like to know what it is. Some call me Trilby, and as a name, it suffices. I've been called many things. A burglar, a hoodlum, a criminal. I prefer to think of myself as a gentleman thief. And tonight, I have something potentially very rewarding in store. My fence phones me in the middle of the night and asks if I know about Defoe Manor. Apparently, the last of the Defoe line has obligingly died without heirs, leaving all the family valuables up for grabs. The lawyers have got the place locked up tight, of course, but that's never stopped me before. And the place is, of course, deserted. Yes, this should be a painless and rewarding evening's entertainment. Alright, there we go. Hello everyone, welcome to Five Days a Stranger. This is part one of four of the Chozo Mythos. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll have the word magically appear on screen right about now. It's that, however you pronounce it. It's made by Ben Yahtzee Croshaw. And it is totally free to play, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. I've actually been meaning to play this for quite a while. I, I tried to play it a long time ago, but at the time, the recording software that I used it just wouldn't pick it up. But I've since changed recording software, and it allows me to actually record it. So I'm really happy about that. Okay. Let's begin. Day 1. And the Gentleman Thief makes his entrance. This place sounds old. <laughs> Very old. Okay. That's the window through, uh, through which I entered this place. Also, I just heard footsteps even though I wasn't walking, so I guess there's somebody else here. It won't open. It must have been jarred shut somehow. Well, I guess I'll have to take the old-fashioned way out. A thief taking the door that is beneath me. An Armstrong 14 steel safe. I can crack these in my sleep. Okay. Go ahead, then. Oh, there you go. Damn, empty. Guess the family solicitor got here first. I can see from here that it's empty. I have no interest in these books. The kind of books that middle class keeps around themselves in order to appear learned. I don't think I pronounced... I don't think I said that right. Pretty sure I messed up somewhere in there, but anyway. A rather dreadful portrait of a woman. Early Victorian style. And I notice a wedding band on her finger. This must be the wife of the mansion's first owner. Hmm, anything behind it? It's too bulky to carry around. It's also unsigned and therefore valueless. Oh right, I'm a thief. I'm supposed to be stealing stuff. Okay. What about the chair? It might be worth a bit of pocket change, but I doubt I would get it down to my car. True enough. An executive chair, upholstered in black leather. It doesn't seem like a Victorian fixture. Must be an addition made by the most recent tenant. Okay, creepy whispering. Certificates. Bachelor, Bachelor of Law awarded to Clarence Defoe by the University of Warwick. Clarence Defoe was the last owner of the house who recently died, and I think I have just lost whatever sympathy I had for him. <laughs> they have no value to anyone except the owner, and he's dead. What? Oh, no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away. 
What got into him? Oh, wait. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm wearing this thing. But who the hell was that guy? I was under the impression this house was empty. Yeah, I suppose I looked a little intimidating in my burglar's outfit. Also, the game's a little bit too loud. Hold on a second. Now it's way too quiet. What the? Try that. Uh, what? Okay, I don't know what's up with the volume, but anyway, it's fine. <clears throat> hmm, should I go chase him down or just go into random doors? I kind of want to just go into random doors. Yeah, I'll deal with him later. Locked. And locked. I'm sensing a pattern here. Did he come in here? Is he behind the shower curtain? Nope. Nothing here. How anticlimactic. Indeed. A very understated mirror. Anything in there? I really could do the haircut. I'm not the sort of cat burglar who leaves the taps running out of sheer malevolence. Fair enough. When I need it, I'll let you know. See if this window opens. Jammed shut. I shouldn't think there's much underneath. Downstairs it is. There's the footsteps again. And they're not mine. Looks like an addition of the local rag. Should always keep a abreast of day-to-day -day events. Let's see, can I actually read it? Oh, here we go. Heir to Defoe Estates, found dead. Sir Clarence Defoe, last of the long-running Defoe line, was found dead yesterday in his home. Defoe, 24, was found hanging from a tree in the front yard of Defoe Manor. Oh, boy. His recent bride, Julia Swanson Defoe, was also found dead in the mansion, apparently stabbed to death. Inspector Jacob Barnes, the officer in charge of the investigation, has closed the case. There's no mystery here, he said. Defoe killed his wife, and then himself. We have already disproved the possibility of a third party. Sir Clarence's solicitor, Michael uh, Chesham, however, has gone on record questioning the inspector's judgment. The last I saw, Sir Clarence, he was infinitely content. He would never have committed such an act. Plus, there was no suicide note. Hmm. No latch, no chain, no deadbolt. It doesn't even have a keyhole. So why won't the bloody thing open? This is becoming very tiresome. Okay, where did that guy go? It's just an ornamental. Uh, it's just ornamental. The drawers and cabinets are all empty. A Welsh dresser. How very... Oh, how do you pronounce that word? Is it bourge, bourgeois? Bourgeoisie or something like that? Something like that. Can't quite remember. I think finding a way out of this place is higher on my priority priorities than stealing the furniture right now. No, I wanted to sit in it and rock back and forth gently. Oh well. 
straight from the Argos catalog to your living room. I don't even know what Argos is. It's a rather amateurish landscape. The signature identifies it as the work of Matthew Defoe, circa 1818. Some examples of popular Victorian fiction. I doubt any of these would be helpful. Hello? That is a pretty large TV. I just unplugged it. I don't even know why. I guess now I have the cord. Grawly. Grawly? What the heck's a Grawly? My grappling hook launcher made to look like an umbrella. Oh. Ah. A Sony MH400. Some collectors value here. The MH400 was becoming defunct at around about the same time as the Rubik's Cube. Oh my. In other news, the society world is still shaken by the sudden death of Sir Clarence Defoe. Sir Clarence and his wife, Julia, were found dead last Thursday in Defoe Manor. Our correspondent, Peter Daltrey, has the report. It was just four weeks ago that this place was a buzz of activity as Sir Clarence Defoe moved in with his new bride, Julia Swanson Defoe. Now, after this shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as the tomb and empty of human life. <laughs> Sir Clarence had only proven his attachment to the Defoe lineage almost one year ago, and since then had been renovating the long-abandoned family mansion in preparation for his marriage. The police have already declared the tragedy as a murder-suicide, although many have insisted that Sir Clarence was incapable of such an act. The debate rages on, while the fate of the house and family fortunes remain unclear. Thank you, Peter. Our top stories again. Minister... Okay, that's it. I hate television. Just a plain old VCR. There doesn't seem to be a tape inside. Oh, maybe I'll find one. There you are. Hey! Oops. It's about time you showed up. I'm sorry. And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. Where's the way out? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You are the guy who owns this place, right? Uh, no. Oh. So how'd you get in here? Uh, a window on the second floor. Is it still open? N no, no, it jammed shut. Damn. Well, looks like the house has a new guest. I hope no more turn up. We've only got five chairs. If you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Wait a minute. Yes? Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hardy's the name. Philip Hardy. Call me Phil. And who are you? Trilby. Mr. Trilby, I'm afraid you are now a prisoner. Like me, everyone else in the house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once you get in, the house won't let you leave. I've tried all the doors and windows, none of them open. The garden wall is unclimbable, and I can't tunnel under it. But why? Who's keeping us here? Beats the hell out of me. Whoever it is, they will certainly not be safe for my fists once I get out of here. So if there's something you're not telling me, now would be a good time to get it off your chest. I assure you I am completely mystified. So, how many more people are in this place? Only three more. First there's Jim, the youngest. He turned up just after I did. He's a good kid. Second, Simon Taylor. You probably know her by the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. She came here to make some kind of documentary, I think, but now she's stuck here with us. Lastly, there's AJ. Skinny bloke with a 
with a stash. He won't tell us who he is or where he came from. All I know is that he's been here longer than anyone, nearly a whole week. I think I've already met him. Oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you see if you can track them all down? I'm calling a house meeting in the lounge. Spread the word. I trust you'll enjoy your stay at Defoe Manor, Mr. Trilby. I still don't understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in the lounge. We can discuss things properly then. Right. Well, this was supposed to be some thievery, but it's turned into an escape. A stuffed tiger head, mounted in the act of snarling, presumably to justify its death in some small way. This is more like car boot scale material. Which is se sepia prints. A very old sepia photograph of a man in explorer's gear, standing over a dead tiger. The label reads, Sir Roderick Tames a Vicious Beast. That gun he's holding looks a lot like the one over the fireplace. Hmm. I wonder if I can take it. I'm no expert on guns, but I think that's a late 18th century musket rifle. Standard issue of the British Army of that period. <laughs> Not sure I'd want a musket rifle. Little bit slow to reload. Whoa, this thing's heavier than it looks. I'm not carrying this around everywhere. I better find a place to put it down. Um, let's put it back. Evidently, someone fancies themselves as a big game hunter. Or maybe they just fancy themselves. No thanks. I have a thing about lions. A glass bell jar containing a rather hideous looking wooden idol. Even if I wanted that ugly thing, which I don't, I'd have to break the glass to get to it. It's been lit recently. Okay, well at least there's got to be food in here. Some people have been here a week. I think they would have died if they didn't have something to eat. Well, you could probably go a week without food, but you definitely need water. Let's find everyone else. <clears throat> Let me guess, it doesn't open. Jam shut, of course. It's a pleasantly professional quality portrait of a bearded man in a Victorian explorer's outfit. A little plaque at the bottom reads, Sir Roderick Defoe. It's too big to carry around with me. There's a time and a place for rest. Evidently, no one cares if I starve in this place. Oh. What have people been eating? Is there dry food somewhere? I guess there's nothing in there. Ooh, what's that? S salt? There's a massive bag of salt? What the hell? The cabinet contains a large bag of salt. It's too big to carry around with me, but if I ever need lethal quantities of salt, I'll, I'll know where to look. Empty and empty. Maybe if I had something to cook, but I don't. 
I don't need to wash my hands right now. What is that? Twig. I'm not sure what to do with myself. No, I don't want to touch myself. <laughs> I want to touch the twig. There we go. Pick up sticks. Pushing the tree makes the upper branches sway a little. What fun. A large oak tree stands proud beside the house, the branches reaching all the way up to the roof. The walls look very sturdy and smooth. But wait a minute, don't I have... Like, isn't this thing just... Couldn't this just get me over? Um... Yeah, can I just use this to grapple over? I could use my Grawly, but from what I know of this house, there's a sheer drop on the other side of the wall, and I don't want to risk it. Oh. Hmm. So, what is this? A shack? Oh. Locked. Huh, at least this place has a pool. I can relax in my confinement. The water is deep and smells strongly of chlorine. I didn't bring my trunks. It looks like the pipeline comes away from the pool and goes under the lawn. I wonder where it leads. What the hell? Oh, I guess he's been trying to dig. Right. Someone's done a real number on this lawn. Digging their way out? No. It seems more like they were looking for something. Yeah, I mean, this at the wall, of course, looks like he's trying to dig out, but the other ones, there's no way. They're just digging down. What were they looking for? Oh, sheer drop still. Okay, I guess upstairs. Or is everything still locked? Oh, there's someone. Hi. Pardon me, madam. What? Oh, hello. Philip mentioned we had a new guest. You're Simone Taylor, right? Yes, you must have seen me on TV. And you are? Trilby. Got a first name? No. Hey, wait a second. Not the cat burglar, Trilby. Oh, wow. I, pr I presented a Crime Watch special on you once. Oh, man. I wish I had a camera right now. This could be huge. You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Madam, even if I did have a sudden retarding brain injury, that would cause me to do so. But don't you think our apparent imprisonment is a slightly more urgent matter? Well, I admit I thought so the first day I was here. But I've been here four days now, and I really think I'm learning a lot about this place. If I could just get these infernal doors open... Philip's calling a house meeting in the lounge. Yes, it's so like him to do so when a new face appears. I'll see you later, Mr. Trilby. Strange woman. 
Okay, well, there's one, but... That still leaves two more. Where the heck am I going to find them? I feel like I've been everywhere. That isn't locked, that is. No, go down. Down, down, down. Come on, Trilby, you got this. There you go. Hmm. So I've got a newspaper, my grolly, a stick, and a cord. I guess I could take the rifle with me. No, I think I have to set it somewhere down in the room, don't I? There's really nowhere I can put it down except back up here. So what am I going to be doing with this cord? Is there anything that needs power? I can't believe I'm already stuck. I'm not even a half hour into the game. What the hell? <laughs> oh. I didn't miss anywhere over here, did I? I can't really tell where the transitions are between screens. Nah, there isn't one here. Okay. Shouldn't I, like, as a burglar, shouldn't I be able to just, like, lockpick all these doors? Can I use a stick as a lockpick? Seems unlikely. No surprise, it didn't work. Wait, what about the window? Don't any windows open in this stupid place? What if I break it with a stick? Hmm. Wait, what the? Is there somebody up there? Somebody's saying, hey. Is there someone up in the tree? <laughs> that must be the kid. Oh, hi. You're new. Have you come to set us free? No, apparently I'm a prisoner now, too. I'm guessing you must be Jim. What were you doing in the tree? I thought I might be able to get over the wall. But the tree's too far. And there's this... Ravine just outside the wall, too. 
so I understand, yes. Philip wants us all to meet up in the lounge. Oh, okay. I'll head there now, then. Okay, so that leaves one. Well, now that I know that they might be hiding... It makes me wonder if someone's, like, down in one of these holes. Talk to everything. Nah, there's no one out here. Okay, so where would this last person be? Where could they be? Wait, is that everyone? Our new arrival has graced us with his presence. I expect there's a lot you want to know. Join the club. Oh, I guess that was everyone. Cool. So, let me see if I've got this clear in my head. You're all trapped in this house by some invisible intelligence. Right. And you can't leave. Nope. And as soon as I entered, I became trapped too. Pretty much. Why? Why would anyone want to keep us prisoner here? Maybe they're just lonely. No, if they wanted company, they'd have shown themselves. Maybe they have. Maybe one of us is behind all this. Oh, don't be silly. Why would any of us want to trap a load of people here and pretend we didn't? I don't know, do I? I don't speak loony. We mustn't squabble amongst ourselves. Hampered by paranoia and suspicion, we'd only hinder each other. I suggest we assume for now that we four are all innocent. I agree with that. We five, including AJ. Where is he, anyway? I couldn't find him anywhere. I saw him just after I arrived, but he ran away from me. Well, that's odd. Listen, Mr. Trilby. We work as a team in this house. That's how it's been since it started. So, we all have to share information. No secrets. So, why did you come to this house? He's a cat burglar. Why do you even have to ask? Well, I didn't come here to take part in some bizarre Big Brother event, that's for sure. Is there anything you know about this house that would help? Anything at all? I doubt I know much more than any of you. All I know is that the last heir just died and it's supposed to be empty. Hmm. Well, guess you're not much of a help then. But I suppose an extra pair of hands is always useful. I'm still not completely clear on a few details. Do I get to ask you all some questions now? Sure. Just ask us any, any of us, whatever you like. Okay. Miss Taylor? Yes? What do you know about this mansion? Well, I've heard some pretty disturbing stories about it. Here we go. There have been stories of weird happenings around it for decades. Ever since the first disappearance of the original owner and his son. People have gone missing in the area around the house more than anywhere else in the country. People from all walks of life. People like us? Uh, don't say that. How did you come to be here? I only came down here for a documentary. There's been a lot of interest in old ghost stories lately. We figured something on Defoe Manor would pull in the ratings. And not because it would make an interesting viewing. This is why I hate television. Excuse me, I was talking. I arrived here before the camera crew. But I couldn't resist to just taking a walk around the grounds. Oops, I accidentally skipped something there. Next thing I knew, I was in the backyard. I looked all over, but I couldn't find a way back to the front. 
It was my own fault, really. Yes, it was. Wait, but what happened to your camera crew, then? I have no idea. They probably just left when I never showed up. I'm sort of glad they didn't get mixed up in this, too. Quite. Tell me about yourself. Why, that's so sweet of you to ask. We're in for it now. I'm a correspondent for the BBC, but you probably already knew that. I'm afraid I don't watch much television. Oh. Well, I do outside broadcasts for the news, mainly. Sometimes I present documentaries of variety shows. Or variety shows. Whenever I'm needed, really. Very much a Jill of all trades. That's all I wanted to know. What about Philip? Mr. Hardy? Yes, Mr. Trilby? Tell me about yourself. About me? Well, I'm in what you'd call the import-export business. You're a thief. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. I only take what belongs to dead people. Since they're not using it... Since they're not using it, you know. Our new friend there, he's a thief. True, but also a gentleman. And I only take what I'm sure no one's using, too. I'm sure that's a great comfort to them. How did you come to be here? Well, I came up here to look for some artifacts. And I'm sure you had the full consent of the Defoe solicitors to do so. Shut up. I just heard of some old family tombs somewhere under the building. Oh, you must have been the one digging. I mean, really old. Anything inside probably doesn't belong to anyone, so finders keepers. I managed to call in a few favors to get over the ravine in the back wall. Then, of course, I couldn't get out again. How many people know you're here? A handful, I suppose. They wouldn't get suspicious till I go missing for months, though. Hmm. Yeah, he's looking for tombs. He must have been the one digging. Hmm. Maybe there's some sort of an ancient curse. In the tombs. Now I want to find them, too. What do you know about the mansion? Plenty. I read an article in this month's Treasure Hunting Monthly. It was built by some explorer guy, Sir Roger Defoe, or something like that. His wife died giving birth. He and his son went missing some time later. Hell, maybe the article could tell you better than I could. I'll let you borrow it. Thanks. Just don't mess it up too much. It's for my scrapbook. That's all I wanted to know. Righto. And Jim. So, Jim. Yes? Tell me about yourself. ASL? Like what? I don't know. Where were you before you came here? I was at St. Trinian's Boarding School, not far from here. Been there since I was ten. My parents move around a lot, you see. How old are you now? Nearly sixteen. And how'd you get here? It was so stupid. We climbed over the school wall at lunchtime. Why? It was a dare. We were going to see how long it would take the school to find us. Then we came across this old house. And Richard dared me to knock on the door. He bet me a pound I wouldn't do it. My school is like that. Broke my collarbone playing pile on once. Shut up, Philip. What happened next? Well, I was about to knock on the door. But it opened by itself. I heard Richard dare me to take a step inside. So you did, and the door closed behind you, and it wouldn't open again. Yeah. Hmm. Your friends didn't call the police or anything? How should I know? I guess they didn't... They didn't, since nobody came. That was on Wednesday. The school probably knows I'm gone now. I see. And what do you know about the mansion? Not much. We could always just about see the roof over the playground wall. 
We all used to tell each other it was haunted. <clears throat> Why? Were there any stories or legends attached? Well, a friend of mine used to say a crazy hermit lived there who killed people and ate them alive. Oh, well, I'm certainly reassured. That's all I wanted to know. Anyone else see the pattern in all, the, in all these stories? Which pattern would that be? Seems to me the house only traps people individually. It didn't try to, to trap Jim's friends. Or Simone's camera crew. It's only letting us in one at a time. You're talking about the house like it's intelligent. Surely it's more likely that there's just some joker behind all this. Maybe. But how did they know we were coming? How did it know to leave a window open for me, risking one of you finding it? You think the house is haunted? I wouldn't use that word. But I definitely have a very odd feeling. Like we're being watched, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe this is one of Simone's raiding winners. Excuse me. Well, locking up some people in a house against their will and secretly filming them. Sounds like a natural reality TV progression. It's also highly illegal. <laughs> Wouldn't stop some people. Where the hell has AJ got to, anyway? I was hoping he'd be here. He's been doing some research on the house. He was going to share it with us tonight. Maybe someone should go look for him. What, now? It's getting pretty late. I admit, I'm beginning to feel tired. Yeah, me too. But what about AJ? I don't think there's any need to worry now. If he still hasn't turned up by morning, then we'll go look for him. Oh, all right. But we look for him as soon as we get up. Day two. What was that noise? Oh, Jesus, no. Simone? Philip? Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? What the... You did this? Stay back, I'm warning you. Who are you? Christ, I've never dreamt so vividly before. It was so disturbing. I feel like I better save it. I'm also kind of worried what I'm going to find out here. Let's hope the vision wasn't, or my dream wasn't prophetic. Okay, whew, it wasn't. Alright, so where's everyone gone? Wait a minute, she broke the door open, didn't she? Yeah, I think that's what that is. It's a little, like, black splotch on it. Evidently, someone's been doing a little research here. wonder if that was AJ. I can't think of a use for any of these books at the moment. Hey, Miss Taylor. Ah, hello, Mr. Trilby. Do you know where the others are? Well, Philip said he was going into the garden. I don't know where Jim is, and AJ's still missing. How are you doing? Oh, spare me the gallantry. I'm just fine. Okay, did you break the lock on the door? No, I just came up here and it was like that. I suppose AJ must have done it. He must have been reading from that pile of books. 
I don't know exactly. I'd have to ask him. Hmm. So I take it AJ hasn't turned up yet? No. Do you think he found a way out? If he did, he didn't have the decency to tell us. I wouldn't be surprised. He's kind of jumpy. Maybe he just saw an opportunity and took it. Maybe. How did you sleep? I wonder if she had any dreams like me. To be honest, not really. I had this terrible dream. Someone had killed you and Philip and Jim. I remember a huge guy with a welding mask. Let me guess. He took off the mask and he looked exactly like you. No. Actually, he looked exactly like you. What does it mean? Frankly, I don't want to know. Strange. The same type of dream, but with the people switched around. Obviously the house, or whatever spirit or thing is inside of it, is making us see these visions. But what is it, what is it trying to accomplish? What do you know about AJ? Not much. He refused to tell us anything about himself. Where he came from, why he's, he came here, not even his full name. Kind of suspicious, isn't it? Do you think he had some kind of agenda? I really wouldn't know. Of course, you're no one to judge when it comes to withholding names. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Okay, well, on that note, I'm actually going to end this episode here because I can feel my voice is starting to get away from me. So I must wait for it to repair itself. I am really intrigued so far. I'm really intrigued by the story. The mystery has definitely gripped me. And I really want to know what happens next. I really want to find that tomb. Or whatever that secret place is that he's been digging for. Hmm. Yes. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.